surface area of a sphere. The surface area of a sphere is the number of square units that will exactly cover the entire surface of that sphere. The formula used to calculate the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Pi, when written as a word, is spelled as the letters P-I. In our examples today, we're going to use the abbreviated decimal version of pi, which is 3.14. R is the radius of the sphere. Some things you need to know when finding the surface area of a sphere are, you'll need to know either the radius, which is R, like I explained, or the diameter D of the circle. The length of the diameter is exactly twice the length of the radius. So if you're given the diameter, divide it by two to get the measurement of the radius. The surface area is always measured in units squared. For example, 16 inches squared or 10 meters squared. So be sure to write the answer as measurement squared. Let's take a look at example number one. Let's say I have a soccer ball that has a radius of 11 centimeters. First, I wanna start off by writing the formula used to calculate the surface area of a sphere. The formula is four pi r squared. Now I'm gonna plug in everything that I know about this particular sphere. Four stays the same. Pi is gonna be written as 3.14 and my radius is r, so I'm gonna write 11. Now I'm gonna solve one thing at a time. I'm gonna rewrite my four, rewrite my 3.14. The only thing I'm gonna change is my 11 squared. I'm gonna rewrite that as 121. Now I'm gonna multiply all three of my numbers together and I'm gonna get 1,519 and 76 hundredths. The only thing missing from this answer is my units at the end of the problem. In this case, we're dealing with centimeters. So my answer is centimeters squared. The final answer is 1,519 and 76 centimeters squared. Let's look at example number two. Samantha wants to calculate the surface area of a sphere that she needs to paint for a school project. The calculation will help her know how much paint she'll need to buy. The sphere has a radius of five feet. I'm gonna start off by writing my formula, four pi r squared. Now I'm gonna plug in everything I know. The four stays the same. The pi is 3.14. The radius is five. Now I'm gonna solve one thing at a time. The first thing we need to solve right now is the five with the exponent of two. So I'm gonna rewrite the entire problem, except instead of writing five squared, I'm gonna write 25, which is the answer of five squared. Next, I'm gonna multiply all three of my numbers together, the four, 3.14, and the 25, and get 314. I need to make sure I add my units. And because this example gave us a sphere that was measured in feet, my answer needs to have feet squared written at the end. So my final answer ends up being 314 feet squared. Let's take a look at example number three. Samantha wants to calculate the surface area of a basketball. It has a radius of nine inches. Again, I'm gonna start by writing my formula, four pi r squared. Now I'm gonna plug everything in that I know. Four remains the same. The pi is written as 3.14 and my radius is written as nine. The first thing I need to solve right now is the nine with an exponent of two. So that turns my next line into four times 3.14 times 81. Now I can multiply all three of those numbers together and get 1,017 and 36 hundredths. Last step is to add my units. I'm dealing with the sphere that was measured in inches. So my units need to be inches squared. My final answer is 1,017 and 36 inches squared. Let's take a look at example number four. Samantha needs to find the surface area of one of her toy balls. The ball has a diameter of 15 centimeters. First of all, they gave us the ball's diameter, not the ball's radius. So what we need to do is half our diameter. And if we do that, we're gonna take 15 divided by two, and that gives us 7.5. Now I'm gonna use 7.5 in my formula, not 15. The formula is four pi r squared. I'm gonna plug in everything I know, four times 3.14. And for radius, I'm gonna plug in 7.5. Now I'm gonna multiply the 7.5 to the second power first. 7.5 times 7.5 is 56.25. So my entire problem gets rewritten as four times 3.14 times 56 and 25 hundredths. Now I'm gonna multiply all three of those numbers together and I get 706 and five tenths. 
I need to make sure I add my units and we're dealing with a sphere that was measured in centimeters. So my final answer is 706 and 5 tenths centimeters squared. Let's look at a quick recap. When calculating the surface area of a sphere, you're gonna need to know the radius, which is usually abbreviated as R, or the diameter, abbreviated as D, of the circle. The length of the diameter is exactly twice the length of the radius. So if you're given the diameter, divided by two to get the radius. The surface area is always measured in units squared. For example, 52 inches squared or 28 meters squared. So be sure to write your answer as a measurement squared. Did you find this video helpful? You can support this channel by donating to Super Easy Math through PayPal. There's a link to it in the description section below this video and on the Super Easy Math YouTube cover photo.